Okay, now we are going to solve problem 3.61 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the current gain or the ratio between I0, I0 is here, and I source, I source is here. And let's start directly. So I will use mass analysis. So I will have three loops here. And here is first loop. Let's name this loop 1, this as loop 2. And the last one as loop number three. Okay, let's start at loop one. Okay, now here we have current source, and this is the only current that passed through this loop. So the current of these loops will be the same as this current source. So I one is equal to I. S. So here we have done for loop 1 because this is current source so we don't need to look at other components. Now let's move on to loop number 2. And first let's take a look at this resistance here. So it is 30 ohm and we focus on this loops I2. And here I1 is moving to the opposite direction, so minus I1. And then here we move on to that 20 ohm resistance. And the only current that passed through it is I2. And plus, here we have a voltage source. And the current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative. So we have negative sign here, and the value is 5V0. 5 0 and that will equal to 0. Now we do some math to simplify this and we will have minus 30 I1 plus 50 I2 yeah 50 I2 minus 5 V0 and that will equal to 0. Okay now I1 is equal to IS, so I will have minus 30 IS plus 50 I2 minus 5 V0, and that will equal to 0. Okay, now we need to take care about this V0. V0 is the voltage across this resistor, so we can use Ohm's law to see that it is I1 minus I2 multiplied by 30. So let's do that. So 30 IS plus 50 I2 minus 5. Now here I1 is equal to IS. So I will have this. And I2 is going to the opposite direction, minus I2. And that multiplied by 30. And all of this will equal to 0. Now I will have minus 30 IS, minus 5 IS. So minus 35 IS. And for I2, I have 50 minus 5. Oh, I mean this. We... We should multiply it with 30 first, so let's do this instead. 30IS plus 50I2. Now we'll have minus 140, not 140, 150IS plus 150I2, and that will equal to 0. So for IS, I got minus 180 IS plus 200 I2, and that will equal to zero. And let's save this as equation number one. Now let's move on to loop number three. Let's do loop number three here.
So we start from this voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative. So the sign will be positive. So I will have 5 V0. And then plus this resistor is in series. So 10 plus 40 is 50 plus 50. And the only current that passed through it is I3. And that will equal to 0. But here I3 is equal to I0. It is on the same direction. So 5 V0 plus 50 I0 is equal to 0. Now we substitute again V0. So 5 I0 is IS minus I2 multiplied by 30. And we will have plus 50 I0 and that will equal to 0 and we got this 150 I S minus 150 I2 and plus 50 I0 is equal to 0. Okay, now let's save this as equation number two. Okay, now we have these two equations so far, and let's clean the board to see what when what can we do next. Okay, now we have equation number one and equation number two, and here we are asked about the ratio between I zero and I S. So it is good idea to eliminate this I two here. So that is what. I'm gonna do so what can we do to eliminate I2 I multiplied the first equation by 3 so we will get 600 I2 and I will multiply the second equation by 4 so I will get also 600 I2 but on neg negative so I will have here minus 180 multiplied by 3 it's minus 4 minus 4 540 is plus 600 i2 and that will equal to 0 and here we will have 600 is minus 600 i2 plus 200 i0 and that will equal to zero okay now i can add these equations and here we will have 60 is this will cancel each other and i will have plus 200 i zero is equal to zero now what can we do here yeah i can move this like this 0 i s is equal to minus 200 i 0 so here we can manipulate this so it will get i 0 i 0 divided by i s is equal to minus okay now I will have 60 divided by 200 so I will have this equations or we can simplify this by dividing both numerator and denominator by 20 so I will have minus 3 over 10 so that will equal to minus 0 0.3 and this is the gain and our final answer hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching